welcome to dr vivasayam youtube channel the primary aim of our channel is to create awareness about good farming methods and the success stories of great farmers it also highlights some bad farming practices every country directly or indirectly depending on agriculture some of them are directly involving with farming and others are involved in doing business with these agriculture goods we visited many farms and met farmers across the country to gather information through this youtube channel we are trying to provide awareness about good farming and success stories of good farmers and also reason behind the failure of bad farming methods we are raising awareness among farmers that we are meeting with farmers to promote agriculture and agriculture related practices to ask farmers how to implement crop management fertilizer management and irrigation management our service is to help farmers and provide strong information about good farming normally all the youtube channel they will provide information awareness but we are we are going for next level of this one we are conducting international conference through this international conference we are conducting international conference that is two days international conference on emerging trends in sustainable agriculture and biotechnology on 5th september and 6th september 2020 this is our first international conference and also we can say very proudly this is the first youtube international conference normally youtube they will do developing and uh, promoting the products and uh, making the awareness we are youtuber we want to make the next level of the implementation next level of the process that is we are conducting international conference on through agriculture development thank you it's for to start with a warm welcome good morning to all it's it's my pleasure to introduce myself and my team members uma shri kumar dashri rajendran and myself pavitra alayappan and guided by karunya amrita dashni we are the student of ug currently pursuing btech food tech at banariyamma institute of technology erode thanks for giving this golden chance to to deliver our content and knowledge through this presentation on this topic of a review on tomato shelf life and its different storage methods table of contents here are the table of contents first the introduction will be taken by myself and the processing methods will be taken by dashni and finally it can be concluded by guma shri the introduction tomato tomato in botanical name we can say that solanum lycopersicum and it is one of the most popular and widely grown vegetable crops in world and it is a climatic food in india after potatoes the total production of tomato is around nearly 160 million tons per year and it is one of the second most important source of nourishment uh, due to its humidity and temperature the tomato can ripen very soon and finally it can be resulted in poor quality as fruit becomes that its tomato becomes very soft overripe tomato is more susceptible to physical injury than ripe and pink ones after harvest that is post harvest the tomato be overripe very rapidly the tomato is under two conditions one is climatic fruit and another one is perishable fruit first we can see about climatic fruit in climatic fruit tomato is a climatic fruit having a respiratory peak and its ripening process and another one is perishable fruit in perishable fruit tomato changes continuously after harvest that is post harvest and have very short life span about 2 to 3 weeks a post harvest losses average life between 24 and 40% in developing countries and between 2 and 20% in developed countries are major source of waste reduction of post harvest losses of perishable is a major importance when striving and improve food security in our world the quality measures is under three conditions first one is physical appearance flavor and fineness color size shape and come under this physical appearance major food quality is significantly affected by um, by storage of ripens when removed from plant and number of times we handled by people and the storage of temperature and its time 
the quality of fruits is reduced and considerably amount wasted from harvesting to final consumption on its result. And so factors depend upon its quality and physiological state and atmosphere of it. Uh, next, we can see about storage method and its primary efficiency method. The damaged fruits of tomato are started and eliminated from freshly harvested fruits of each variety. Uh, first method we can see about the fruits were rinsed with the sterile distilled water that's after being surfaced sterilized with the 70 percent ethanol the storage structures will be uh, catalyzed by three the one is plastic rate and second one is raffia basket and the third more efficient method is pot in pot refrigerator uh, we can see about plastic rate in plastic rate that has a cube ball shape of 3 37 by 24 into 20 that is we can say about length width and height if we purchase it from the world line outlets most ripened tomatoes they get best quality for two to three days a week we can store at the coolest room temperature and the second method is store we can store fruit away from direct sunlight with the stems care facing up to reduce softening and darkening of fruit it we can hold temperature under ripening tomatoes from retail outlets for long as of five days for short term storage we can use the best method that what we can do to keep tomatoes in well winter respiratory tomato paper bag at coolest room temperature as it is possible the last method is we can keep the fruit out of direct sunlight as it will warm fruit and cause more rapid softening and the next method is breeding varieties we can see about breeding varieties to enhance types many tomatoes varieties have bred that fruit storage life including we can say about uh, large vine types cluster tomatoes mint many cherry and its roman types it can hold at room temperature it's about five days Improvements in tomato, that's ripening tomatoes, can, breeding method, it, it can hold this is resistance, higher yields, early maturity throughout the resistance, that is draft resistance, large for size ripening tomatoes and different flavor and traits. And the crossing among different varieties, parental lines that we can say about another word, parental lines, it is one of a basic way generating varieties with a different genetic making of new traits. Uh, we can select when we are selecting the parental lines it is very important step to get transitive segregation many sounds of selfing pollinating that is the mating of male and the female representatives of the same floor as a homogeneous many rounds of a selfing necessary to get homozygous lines and for large ones for selecting and also a necessary for it for example we can say that this is resistance, large fruits of tomato, this, this and all for types of varieties. In this presentation and in this program, we can say about it can conventional method, it including varietal selection, anther collection, and molecular molecules technology, basically to develop varieties suitable to one of them to target areas of farmers so we can provide their poverty among the farmers. And next, the few processing methods will be delivered by Dashni. Okay, good morning all and now we are going to see about few post harvest processing methods the first one is evaporative cooling of tomato followed by ethylene treatment refrigeration heat treatment pot and pot or z refrigeration to see in detail we we'll move to the next one evaporative cooling of tomato evaporative cooling of tomato is the best method to <coughs> increase the shelf life of tomato because when the moisture is removed from the skin of the tomato uh, it may lead to wilting or shivering, uh, which reduces the total weight of the tomato. It can be overcome by evaporative cooling of tomato because we will reduce the heat by changing the air pressure caused by volume expansion uh, to get the optimum temperature and pressure. Uh, the optimum temperature is about 10 to 15 degrees Celsius and the humidity is about 85 to 95 percentage is mandatory. Uh, to increase the shelf life of tomato and we can achieve this through evaporative cooling method uh, evaporative cooling method is not only applicable at low temperature it is also applicable at high temperature of about 91 percentage uh, where we can uh, reduce the deterioration caused due to various physical conditions of the tomato evaporative coolers can be produced locally with the low cost materials like jute sacks, wooden planks, and basins. Moving to the next slide, it is about ethylene treatment. Uh, uniform accelerated ripening 
and significant existence of shelf life can be obtained by removing the ethylene which is naturally produced by the plant either by <coughs> ethylene absorbent ethylene absorbent is produced in two ways either it can be prepared indigenously or we can use the chemical forms like potassium permanganate once the ethylene absorber is applied uh, the ethylene is absorbed and oxidized to water carbon dioxide manganese dioxide and potassium uh, due to its toxicity it is not applied directly uh, it is either applied in the form of sachet or impregnated in plastic containers or in chemical filters we suggest the method of impregnation because impregnating uh, different packaging materials uh, with the ethylene absorbent can reduce the post harvest losses uh, potassium permanganate uh, remove the exogenous and endogenous ethylene which is the main responsible for ripening of fruit by increasing the concentration of carbon dioxide by following these steps we can increase the shelf life of tomato and the next slide is about refrigeration refrigeration can delay the softening of just ripened tomato but uh, usually refrigeration is not recommended because uh, it can reduce the flavor and but uh, due to various studies it is proved that uh, cold storage which lasts less than for 3 days uh, does not cause any harmness to the flavor as it protects the unappearance uh, quality attributes like uh, flavor texture aroma and also some nutrition uh, refrigerate some tropical origins like tomatoes uh, may uh, may lead to the in chilling injuries uh we when they are stored below the temperature of 10 degrees celsius uh because they may lead to uh pitting and even ripening and also some fungal infestation but in conditions where the handlers can only give refrigeration uh temperature ranging is mandatory uh, it is necessary to maintain the temperature of above 10 degrees celsius to 15 degrees celsius and in the case of high cost refrigeration uh the two important parameters to be considered are temperature and humidity and the next slide is about post har post harvest heat treatment using hot air or heated water have been reported to reduce the chilling effect caused by uh refrigeration it is applicable not only for tomatoes but also for mangoes oranges zucchinis uh heat treating of tomato at the temperature of 32 to 37 to 42 degrees celsius prior to cold storage can improve the pesticidal um, resistance uh, uniform heat treatment before cold storage actually increases the toxic shock syndrome and the titrating acids in the fruit when compared to the fruits which are untreated with this method and that's all about it thank you for listening me the next will be delivered by gumash good morning all uh, here is one the efficient method we are gr refrigeration or pot and pot refrigeration here this pot and pot refrigeration device is a food cooler it utilizes the effect of evaporative cooling for its intrinsic mechanism to preserve drugs fruits and vegetables in both hot and dry climates uh, how does this work this uh, this experiment is being set like uh, we have two earthenware pots a large one and a small one uh the smaller one is placed inside the larger one and uh, uh separated by the layer of sand which is constantly been moisturized by water so um so that we can place the uh, uh fruits or vegetables even tomato uh, in the smaller one and we can cover it with a layer of wet wet cloth so th uh, this is uh, more efficient one of the efficient methods to preserve tomato in a better way consider the inner temperatures and mean efficiency here we treated uh, three different lining medias namely charcoal sawdust and sand yes sir uh namely charcoal sand and sawdust which charcoal stay the first uh, first over efficiency with mean efficiency of 75 percentage and next comes the sand with 66 percentage of mean efficiency and uh, here comes the sawdust as third uh with the uh, mean efficiency of 58 percentage this refrigeration holds more effi effective results for tomato storage 
here one of the advantage of this is no electricity is being used here no the temperature and uh, and its effects so temperature changes were observed in each storage method and containing uh, tomato and few more botanical preservatives uh, and it was observed we took three kind of media like uh, three kind of storage methods like plastic crates zero refrigeration and raffia baskets where the temperature is considered to be highest in 26.0 uh, degrees uh, and 23.9 degrees in plastic crates and raffia baskets where we treated 19.5 uh, degrees in zero refrigeration so we the shelf life of tomatoes were depended on the varietal type, the storage conditions, and the presence or absence of botanical preservatives. Using pot and pot refrigerator, the storage period of tomato fruit was extended in considerable amount. Where um, Though we have more efficient methods, pot and pot has been a small, um, it was good among these, these selective methods. And uh, using pot and pot refrigeration, the storage period of tomato fruit extended considerably, and uh, sawdust and rice straw is being the biservatives used, and it was uh, relatively good at that. Um, among all of these, the packaging methods uh, had a considerable amount of uh storage uh it, it contributed a considerable amount in storage so uh when we use perforated low density polyethylene bags it resulted the longer shelf life with better quality of tomato products so this is uh ready for marketability and uh, this thing can be applied when it comes to marketability so thank you sir super, uh, super I concluded uh thank you super super thank super. you sir thank you yeah, particularly if I want to say your presentation is very excellent. Excellent presentation. And also each and everybody you explained in proper manner. It's a good. Normally, Thank you the so tomato, much, how, tomato, how we can preserve in more days. It's a very good. If you are like this video, like, share, comment, subscribe. Press the bell button. Then you will get a notification of the video.